I came back to Scotland with this little note on my sketchbook saying, does manufacturing still exist in Scotland? How on earth do you take something from a concept and go and get that manufactured or go and get that made or even how do you get the right materials? At that point I just started checking around industrial states. <laughs> Makeworks connects designers with manufacturers, mainly through a digital directory. So I was there as a designer, really wanting to manufacture my stuff locally and I just didn't know where to go and I didn't have any resource to tell me where that stuff was same story I kept hearing of, yeah, we don't really know how to get our stuff made, quite often we either have to ship it to China and then it comes back thousands of units and they're wrong and we can't actually make stuff. What was really great was understanding that it's not actually strange to ask the factory to do a bespoke piece or a one-off. Um, even like a stonemasons, for example, you have, you know, huge architectural stonemason places that you'd assume, oh, I've got to do thousands of units. But at the same time, you know, they also do gravestones and of course every gravestone is a bespoke piece. Like what's exciting about technology is that the internet allows people to meet digitally but actually have a face-to-face -face relationship and it's about real life and that's what all this stuff is about. The reason it's not happened before in manufacturing is because it's really hard to find them in the first place. I mean, there's not really databases that you can scrape data from to, to you know, kickstart the stuff so it really does take physically going and collecting information and visiting people face-to-face -face, which is something I love doing but it takes a lot of time and a lot of commitment. One of the most unusual things that we came across was walking into our sailmakers in Montrose. For me, I didn't really know what sailmakers did, and I guess generally when I think about sewing and stitching as well, I always think about women doing that, which is, I guess, a bit of a, an older perspective. We walked into the sailmakers, and there were just rows upon rows of really burly guys with whole sleeves of tattoos, like stitching away, and realizing that actually this factory would do, they don't just make sails, but they make anything in tarpaulin, and they'll, again, do this boat work. Yeah, I mean, for me, collaborating to make completely new types of work is really exciting and that's what's going to take manufacturing from being a way to just do things or, you know, practically get stuff out the door to being something that's really, really valuable and really valued as part of the creative industries and across, like, on a cultural level and respected. And I think we really need to, to do that and encourage that.